too excited. Hold on, cut. <laughs> Welcome to Bomberg. I'm Morgan. This is Harrison. Hi. <laughs> we are traveling here for six months and we have landed here in Germany. The cool thing is we are actually uh, dog sitting. So we get to stay here kind of for free. Just look after the cutest puppies in the world, Mello and Toffee. But the whole point of this video is to show this gorgeous city behind me of Bomberg. We are actually staying here at the Hotel Bomberger Hof Bellevue, if I'm saying it right. Um, and we have a whole video about this beautiful hotel experience, crazy life we're living. Um, you should watch that video. But today is all about Bomberg. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And if you want the beautiful, kind of typical German half-timbered houses, gorgeous city hall, everything, you have to come to Bomberg. Looking into places to go in Germany, they really recommend Rotenburg, Heidelberg, uh, Neuschwanstein, but I haven't heard too, too much about Bomberg, but I'm here to tell you, you have to come here. It is so beautiful, and I'm gonna go show you why. That, that thing was a pumpkin, but Harrison told me it's actually the top of like buildings. My bad. You forget, my boy, this last speech and your reflatable, my toy. Be careful, you're kicking while they're down. Or enjoy the chaos that ensues when they find out in time. But it's a roller coaster ride, and you better put your hands up. I see it. Whoa -oh. Healing and Magical powers. Can you uh, tell me what studies you performed to uh, yes. to verify that? This is the study I did. Magic! Wow, she's running away. <laughs> ah. <laughs> how could you find me? I was talking about how I'm wearing this thing, mm -hmm. and it's not really a crystal. It's just like it's basically an import from China. I didn't buy it anyway. The point is, um, it made me think about crystals. And there's a crystal shop here in Bomberg, actually, which is really cool. And um, they're really beautiful and they're fun, but I don't believe in it at all. It's so weird because it's like, they say like the pink stone or amethyst or whatever, they promote healing or love or whatever have you. And then if you have them near you, they'll promote those things. But it's like, where do they come from? They come from like China or somewhere. How can that be? They're just, they're not even real crystals most of the time. They're just like plastic. So, according to Morgan, magic does not exist in China. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore... Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. You got it. But anyway, I think that um, they do kind of work in the same way of... Um, what's the word? Uh, uh, the mental... Like, yeah. Um, why can't we think of it? Because we don't have crystals on us. Oh, that's why. If we had the, the knowledge crystal. <laughs> if you think something's going to happen, it's because you're thinking about it that makes it happen. And if you're it's consciously making it happen. Right. So that is powerful. Maybe that's the magic of the crystal. If you believe wearing this is going to make you happy, then maybe you will feel happier because you're thinking that. Right. So in that way, they work. I don't believe they work, but sometimes it's fun to pretend anyway. And this has nothing to do with Bomberg at all. <laughs> But what it does have to do with Bomberg is Santa Claus because I have awesome Christmas shops here. And Good what segue. also has to has to commit with that is I believe in Santa Claus because, you know, if I believe hard enough it becomes true subconsciously. So Just subconsciously. Stop Just stop. <laughs> Bye. Wow. Yeah. It is a roller coaster ride and you better put your hands up. I see it. Bomberg has these details everywhere. You can't go anywhere without seeing some beautiful little piece of architecture or flowers or something. It's like everywhere. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. 
what they're saying please let me know I've been wondering for a long time Bamberg is a pretty central place you can pretty much walk everywhere Bamberg is also a fantastic place for vegans we were like really pleasantly surprised to find that we'll um, show some footage of the vegan finds that we have here in Bamberg it's better even than at home it's like better than Whole Foods absolutely and the price range too is pretty similar like it wasn't super expensive and it wasn't super cheap either but it was like I said, it's pretty similar to home, so it's nothing that we're not used to. Yeah, and we were so shocked. We've been through Croatia, and I mean, there's vegan food everywhere. I mean, pretzels and fruits and veggies and stuff, but here there's like tons of vegan meats and cheeses and specialty foods and desserts and ice cream, and it's amazing. Like, we're so shocked I at know. how vegan friendly it is. In Germany, is somewhere you think lots of meat, but um, yeah, who knew? Yeah, it's awesome. So Alexa was saying that it's more than likely because there's uh, some colleges around here and there's a lot more younger people, so mm. the markets have to adapt. <laughs> All we need is 10 euro. There are so many things I want to buy here. I don't know if anyone knows Morgan is a bonehead, okay. but she is. <laughs> with us we could have it's a very dog friendly city actually and i think germany as a whole is pretty dog friendly they can go on the metro and the buses and trains and stuff apparently which is amazing restaurants too. yeah restaurants too however we're not bringing them when we're filming with our real camera because it's kind of difficult to do that they like to go where they want to go sometimes and a little unpredictable and last thing we need is this to fall and break so usually when we go around the town we do bring them with us and if we happen to film it'll just be with the iPhone, which has an OtterBox case, which is really foolproof and false, but it's kind of risky to do it with this. But don't worry, we do not deprive them of our walks in the town. We do usually bring them with us. It's also super duper hot today. It is super hot. Like high 90s, I don't know what the High is. 90s, yes. So they're at home with the AC and the fan. We're sweating it out. Baby, you can count on Bamberg has the nickname the Venice of Germany and if you look behind me you can kind of see why. Um, the river goes right through the city and there are these little narrow, um, not alleyways, but you know what I mean. Not bridges, like narrow bits of the river with the houses on either side and there are bridges going over it. Very, very reminiscent of Venice and there's actually gondolas that go down the river too. Super pretty. And now actually what you're hearing is that bell tower up there. And it's signaling, what time is it? Four o'clock. It's four o'clock.
we said, I got an outer box case for a reason. <laughs> Okay, so one word in German has given us a lot of trouble, and it's this one. I know it should be easier. Danke. Danke. Yeah, danke. But um, our problem is that we keep saying it like Shrek. Danke! So like, danke! Danke! <laughs> it's so wrong. It just makes us laugh every time. So we just had a malfunction with the camera because it's so hot. So we had to come into the shade to continue our conversation. <laughs> We were talking about another word that we cannot say right, or we're just saying stupidly wrong, is we were looking for dog commands, because obviously we were watching German dogs, and one of them was bark, but it's spelled, it's spelled phonetically like bork. So the only German words we could say were like, Donke and fork. <laughs> there's such a super cute Christmas shop here in Bomberg. We're not supposed to film inside the store. I think there's tons of these Christmas stores all throughout Germany, but this one's special. It's only special because it's our first one. Yeah, well, whatever. It's, I mean, they're all special, but. Just... Every one of us. <laughs> it's a true Christmas value. <laughs> No. It's so pretty. This whole store, it's like all these uh, traditional German dresses, and it's like uh, they have plus sizes and they're all handmade. I don't know if we can film in there, but it's like my dream store. If I was rich, I would literally buy every single one of those dresses. There's a lot of like Rococo style artwork and especially in the antique stores around here. It's so beautiful. I love that time period so much. Actually in my art class in college, I made a Rococo dress a la Marie Antoinette.
for watching and be sure to subscribe to see more and you can also check out our instagram we are always posting photos there that are not on our youtube channel and we also have a facebook page where we're also posting other content and be sure to check out our patreon where you can get exclusive content of our travels thanks for watching see you next time